Hey folks, we are looking at the swing trade and Boeing is up over $900, uh, which is about a 30-33% return. So I'm going to take it. In fact, uh, it's going up a little bit more now. So I'm going to take uh, uh, I'm going to take the profit there. Uh, it's about $1,100, I think. Uh, that uh, should be about a 33% return. I just want to get it filled and uh, let's see if, uh, if, it, if it fills and there it goes. Okay, so we are out of Boeing on the swing trade with a 33% return. Thanks. I know many people are in the swing also over here. I'm thinking of taking Chipotle off. It's up 40%. Chipotle is up uh, very nicely, $9. And so the position is up 40%. Okay, I'll send out an email on that. It's up uh, $1,200 on the trade, Chipotle. Yeah, it's up uh, close to $1,400 now. So it's over 40%. So I'm taking Chipotle off, guys. So this one is on the swing here. I'm just going to record it right here. This one is up $1,200 uh, on Chipotle. So what we're going to do is uh, take this off uh, Chipotle. I'm selling $1,250. So that's about a 40% return. Okay, so that's done. Chipotle is done. About a 40% return there. Hey folks, it's Hari Swaminathan from Option Tiger. I'm looking at the swing signals and there's quite a few things going on. So I wanted to make this video. Uh, first of all, if you look, Apple went up another $560 today. So I closed this position right at the open itself. Uh, as you can see at the open, it punched up to 183. After that, it's just been soft. The Apple trade. And so we made a good thousand dollar profit on that. That's, uh, you know, that was pretty good. About 30% or so. Or maybe even 40% at this point. I think it was, we bought it for like 3.6 or something and it went up to 5 point something. Anyway, now Adobe, I added these five contracts. Now Adobe is reporting uh, uh, earnings reports tomorrow. It's expected to be good. And so what I did was I added this five contracts of the 275 call, uh, the 29th March expo, uh, in expiry. So what we have is in case Adobe doesn't report well, this minus 10 will completely go worthless. Uh, if it does report well, then we have 15 longs and 10 short. Then tomorrow after the earnings report, uh, we would need to close this position out uh, because it might be in the money. But uh, regardless, we have enough longs to cover that. So that should be good. Uh, JP Morgan moving up a little bit here today. But uh, nothing really to do. Uh, you know, our short actually is uh, is is uh, is in profit, a, a mild profit. So we'll just let it be. JP Morgan, as you know, we've already captured uh, three hundred and twenty dollars. So that's something that we have to write down. Uh, Netflix is doing well today. In fact, I'm tempted to close this right now. It's going up nicely. But the only thing is, we have this short call, and this short call is going to expire worthless in a couple of days. It's at three seventy, and Netflix is only at three sixty one. So I'm tempted to just keep it right here and uh, get this time decay and then uh, close out this position. But if anybody wanted to close it out right now, uh, this is a great, great profit right here. And uh, I might actually just do that. If it goes up a little bit more today, I might uh, close this position. Uh, Tesla, we, once again, we have our shorts are doing well. It's at 291. We have two days left. My sense is uh, we keep it here. Now, what I want to do is also analyze uh, on the risk graph of some of these positions. So you can see I added five contracts here. So right now, um, um, you know, Adobe is right there. So if it continues to go up, we're going to do uh, we're going to do pretty well. If it goes down, then our short is going to expire worthless tomorrow. Uh, I mean, on Friday. Uh, but then we'll have to work with these uh, uh, with these options. Uh, uh, going forward, but then we have time for that. We have, uh, you know, this thing is expiring on 29th March and this is expiring on 18th April. So we do have time for that. The other one I wanted to analyze was Netflix. So if you look at Netflix here, let me take this off. Okay, so Netflix is right here. And so any move up, it's going to expire into this thing that can make a very good profit. That's why I, I probably will keep it here uh, because uh, as you can see, it has the potential to expire worthless or if it goes up a little bit, our position is only going to improve nicely. Now, granted, it can go down and we can give up some of those profits, but uh, that's, uh, uh, you know, that's the judgment call that we have to make here.